Hello brothers and sisters, welcome back to the Magnificat family channel. Thank you very much for loving this channel, for liking, for promoting it, for sharing the videos, for liking the videos, and above all, thank you for subscribing. And brothers and sisters who have not yet subscribed, please subscribe. In this video, we are going to share about Saint Valentine. Saint Valentine, as we celebrate saints. Today, we are celebrating Saint Valentine. Since we are in the Valentine's week, we are in the Valentine's week. We are in the seven days of Valentine. Wow. How have you been, friends? How are you doing there? Brothers and sisters, how are you doing? How have you been? Today, let's share about Saint Valentine. Since now it's the top, Valentine's Day, we are all waiting. We are all excited to receive gifts. We are all excited to receive flowers. Those who are in the flower industry, they are all uh, preparing themselves. The farms, the flower farms are ready to make sales. Because of Valentine's Day, the entertainment industry, oh, the fashionistas, <laughs> designers are ready to sell red clothes. <laughs> so friends, let's talk about St. Valentine. Who was St. Valentine? Who is St. Valentine? And later we shall see how the Valentine's Day came about. St. Valentine was a Roman Catholic priest who lived in the third century. He's a Catholic priest who lived in the third century and later was consecrated into a bishop. And when you search for him, you're going to see his, uh, the, uh, the, the icon, the icon or that image, uh, Mm, the one that can help you to identify St. Valentine from other saints. You're going to see him uh, as a bishop. You're going to see him as a bishop. Uh, you're about to see, um, when you check, you're going to see a cripple or a child or someone at his feet. You're going to see many birds around him. That's how you can easily identify St. Valentine because of the work he did. Because of the work, his ministry, you're going to see uh, such images or pictures around his icon. The way you can identify St. Joseph is with a stick which has a flower. So each saint has got their own way of uh, identification. So that was St. Valentine, and that's how you can easily identify him. So we have said he's a Catholic priest, Roman Catholic priest, whose feast day is celebrated on the 14th of February. Lived in the 17th, sorry, lived in the 3rd century, that is around 269 AD. 269 after the death of Jesus Christ in Rome, Italy. He was from Rome, Italy, and he was buried in the Basilic of St. Valentine in Turin, Italy. His full name, you can easily find him as St. Valen as Valentine of Turin. Sorry if I don't mention it to the but he was a Roman Catholic from Italy, from Rome, Italy, who later uh, was consecrated into a bishop. That's why you will see um, as a thumbnail, I'm going to put him as a thumbnail with his image, with the birds, with a, a bishop, with, a, with that, uh, with a, with, um, we shall see a picture where they are key, they, they, the kid or a person at his feet. What is his patronage? He's a patronage of afflicted couples. He's a patron, is a is he's a patron of I beg your pardon. He's a patron of afflicted couples. 
He's a patron for love. That's why we are all excited, waiting for the 17th, because of Saint Valentine. He's a patron saint of those fainting or those with epilepsy. Epilepsy is a condition where someone is now and then fainting. So he's a patron saint of that, but also he's a patron saint of beekeepers. So if you're a beekeeper, you have a saint, Saint Valentine. He's a patron saint of happy marriages, happy relationships, patron saint of those seeking marriage partners. So that is our saint, Valentine. We have said, oh, we have already looked at his attributes, how you can easily identify him on his icon. We have birds, we have roses there. We, you see a bishop with a crippled person at the feet or a child with epilepsy at his feet because that was his calling, his ministry. Why is he so special? Because of the history uh, surrounding him. Um, Emperor Claudius I banned marriages during his time. He banned marriages and engagements in Rome. He wanted all men to be in war. To join war, so there are no marriages, no <laughs> engagements. <laughs> so this was a, 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 a disturbing a disturbance to Saint Valentine, to Valentine at the time. So he secretly started marrying people. Uh, marrying couples secretly, he would go and marry them. Those who want to get married, he would marry them secretly. And it didn't take long. This news reached the emperor, uh, Claudius the First, who imprisoned him. And later on, uh, he was martyred. He's a he's a martyr. On his day, we put on red. That's why I'm in red. Do you see how I'm in red? I'm putting on red because I'm celebrating a martyr of God. I'm celebrating a saint who was a martyr, Saint Valentine. Do you love my suit? That was our Saint Valentine. He defied the emperor's orders and secretly married couples and spared husbands from war. Every husband then was supposed to go to war. That's why St. Valentine's Feast Day is associated with love because he really loved marriage. He loved marriage, so he died for love. He died for marriage, for defying the emperor's orders for all the husbands, all the men to join the war. And why? How did the 14th of February come into existence. This is the day when he died. It wasn't celebrated on the Roman Catholic calendar until Pope uh, Gelasius I decided to replace another feast which was there, uh, Lupercalia, with a feast of the purification. He changed the date of 14th February to the day of honor of Saint Valentine, the patron saint of lovers, people with epilepsy, and beekeepers. So it was Pope Gelasius the first who changed that feast, and he changed it in honor of Saint Valentine. That's why we have 14th February, a feast of Saint Valentine, a saint of love. Patron saint of epilepsy and beekeepers. He was those who have gone to Rome. I went there, but I didn't reach this place. I can't lie. <laughs> His car is on display in Rome somewhere. When you go, you look for the Basilica of of Valent of Saint Valentine in Rome. When next time you go to Rome, please ask for this basilica. You're going to find the relics of Saint Valentine. Hello. <laughs> and friends, let's revise or let's remind ourselves or let's share about the seven days of the seven days 
of Saint Valentine. Right now, we are in the days of Saint Valentine, one week of Saint Valentine. They start with Rose Day. Those days start with the Rose Day on the 7th of February. So today we are on the third day because today is uh, today is is the ninth. So that is the third day, I think. Yes, third day until the seventh day on on the 14th of February. Those are the seven days of of um, Saint Valentine. Or we are in the Valentine's week. Just call it the Valentine's week. It's all about making your loved one so special. Just one week in one year to make your friend feel extraordinary special. Um, making our special our, our loved ones so special to feel them feel different by expressing our love in different ways. On the first day is a rose day where we give roses we exchange roses the second day is called the proposed day those who want to propose the third day is a teddy bear <laughs> teddy bear <laughs> those who like giving teddy bears <laughs> the other sorry uh, let me repeat the first one is rose day <laughs> the second one is proposed day <laughs> the third one is chocolate day exchanging chocolate the fourth one is Teddy Day, Teddy Bear Day, to give a teddy bear to your friend. The fifth one is Promise Day, to promise. Promise your friend. Another one is Hug Day, Hug, Hugging, Hug Day. And then the last one is the Kiss Day, meaning the, the whole week is just about love. We are celebrating love. We don't wait only for one to celebrate love on one day, the whole week. We are celebrating love, we are exchanging love, we are loving each other. So those are the seven days of Valentine. So if you have not yet planned, we are already celebrating. We are already planned. <laughs> ah. But on a sad note, the enemy took over this day, the 14th, a day which should have been a holy day for St. Valentine, someone who, who, who really gave up his life, someone who shed his blood for us, for marriage, for love. The enemy took over this day. How? Um, you know what we do on Valentine's Day? The Holy Feast of St. Valentine is now characterized by extramarital relationships and indecency, all kinds of indecency on that day. This is when we we'll have heart attacks, breakups, hmm? cheating, all kinds of cheating, a lot of fornicating, indecent words, <laughs> too much drinking, a lot of foolishness on that day. Lying, liars, liars, that's when they, <laughs> ah, the devil is a liar. On that day is when people tell lies. Hmm? I'm here, I'm there, I'm there, all the, people tell a lot of lies on Valentine's Day. So the devil took over this, this day, that's when we have a lot of infidelity in marriage, infidelity in relationships, a lot of immorality, sexual immorality mm, on the day of St. Valentine. Can you imagine? Can you take a moment and cry? <laughs> okay, feel sorry for St. Valentine who is in heaven and seeing the day, <laughs> the day that should have been a day for love, a day that should have been holy. We human beings now have turned it into a day to do all immorality. Feel sorry for St. Valentine. St. Valentine, we are sorry that it's on Valentine's Day that we have breakups, infidelity in marriage, a lot of drinking, foolishness, a lot of indecence, hmm? infidelity, 
Oh, St. Valentine, have mercy on us. Have mercy upon us. But what should have, what should uh, Valentine's Day be like? How should it have been like? That day, St. Valentine. This should have been a day of expressing love. Love to your loved ones. Husband, you sure love to your wife. Wife, love to your husband. Genuine love. Unconditional love. And you can do that through so many ways. People, you, you are good at this. I know you can do it. Special dinners. Special lunches. Flowers. Gifts. Chocolates. Hmm? Friends. Cakes. Hmm? Clothes. You know? This should have been a day of showing love. But what is happening? This is the day people get high blood pressure, heart attacks. Hmm? This should have been a day of commitment. You have been, sorry, I wanted to use the word here that you have been wasting someone's time for years and years and years. You're there tossing them around, you don't decide. Undecisive people. January, December, you're there with this person. You don't show who you are. You're just there. You don't commit. You don't decide. You are indecisive. Your friend doesn't know what is going on. Is this person for me? Should I move on? Should I? Whoa. So Valentine's Day should have been a day of commitment. Declare your intentions for this person. Hmm? What are your intentions? What are your intentions? Why are you wasting people's time here, friends? Hmm? Declare your intentions. Tell the person, I'm for you or I'm not for you. It's better for the person to know the truth than wasting a lot of their time. People are aging. People have plans. People want to settle in. But you're there and say, see, Jan, up to December, you don't decide, you're just there, yeah. So, Valentine's Day should have been a day of commitment, declaring your intentions, and intentions for commitment, and intentions for marriage. It's not a day for liars. Friends, this Valentine's Day, let's say no to liars. Let's say our lips will not tell lies. Don't tell lies to your friends. St. Valentine is in heaven and seeing you. You're telling yeah? lies. Don't lie to your friend. Tell them the truth whether you love them or you don't love them. Me as Lady G, I would rather know the truth. But you know what, Lady G? Uh, because of ABCD, please, I cannot continue with you or I can't be with you. Then staying with me, confusing me. Wasting a lot of my time. <laughs> so it's a day for commitment. Commit to your friend. Commit to one person. You have all this group of partners. Hmm? You have so many. May St. Valentine help you to, to pick one and settle with that one. May God help you to settle down, friends. Declare your marriage intentions to one person. God created Adam and gave him only one. Declare, of all the ones you have, may God help you. We are still in the week of St. Valentine. May God help you to choose one. It should have been a day of appreciating our loved ones. As we said, the other one was expressing love, but this one is appreciating. You appreciate your wife. This lady, the mother of your kids. Someone who is making you dinner, someone who is there doing, making a lot of sacrifices. This is the time to appreciate them. Buy them a small gift. Friends, no one in this world is too poor to give a gift. We can all give a gift. Me, give me a gift that is coming from your hand. I will appreciate. There is no poor person who cannot 
give a gift and there's no rich person who cannot receive a gift. A gift is so special that it is just accepted. It's acceptable by everyone. So please, you can give a gift to your friend. You can give a gift. Appreciating your friend. Someone who has been there faithful. Hmm? That wife who has been so faithful to you, my dear brother. Hmm? My dear sister, your husband, your fiancé has been so faithful. Of all the human beings in this world, he chose you. He chose me of all the women. Why not to appreciate him? Appreciate her for what she has done for you, for who she is in your life. She's your better half. He's your better half. Please appreciate them with a gift. Valentine's Day should have been a day, as we said, for commitment, but also for proposing. If you have never proposed to your girlfriend, this should have been a day. Depending on where your relationship has reached. But this would have been a very sweet, the memorable day of putting a ring on someone's finger. She would, she would never forget the day, you know, proposing on Valentine's Day. That would have been so colorful when she's in, in red and, you know, you propose. Propose. A marriage proposal on a Valentine's Day, that can be so romantic and so sweet. Valentine's Day should have been a day of renewing our marriage vows, our marriage commitment. To get your friend, stand with this friend, look, hug them, hold them. See them straight in the eyes. Commit, recommit yourself. Commit to love this person. Commit to take care of this person on Valentine's Day. Renewing our vows. Renewing our commitment. If you're still dating, this is the time still to renew your commitment that you're going to love this person, you're going to take care of this person. Hmm? And then it should have been a day for making new promises. You promise, you pledge. Pledge to take care of this person. Pledge to remain faithful. Pledge to continue loving. It's a day for making pledges, you know. You renew your, your promise. Mm -hmm. This is the day to, to mend love, to have a new start, a new beginning for relationships that have been, mm -hmm. have been on the, oh my God, marriages that have been through a lot of struggle. Mm -hmm. This is the time to reconcile. Valentine's Day, let's go on a dinner somewhere, let's reconcile. Let's have our small candlelit dinner in our house. Let's go out. Let's talk about it. Let's reconcile. Let's have a new start this Valentine's Day. All misunderstandings, all unforgiveness, all the anger, let them end on this day. Valentine's Day, let's have a new start. Married people, please have a new start. Relationships, have a new start. Forgive one another. What is it that is causing you a lot of tears and a lot of harm? What is it? This is the day to reconcile. Talk about it. Reconcile with your friend. But also, it's, uh, as we said, it's a day for making new plans. Maybe this is the day when you commit and also you make plans. You say, you know, the year has just begun. This is the 14th of February. I plan to visit your parents in this month. I plan to do this. You know, the marriage ceremony is according to different cultures before the wedding. This is in this month. I, we shall, with the help of God, we shall do this. We shall visit. We shall have the introduction ceremony or the customary marriage. And then in this month, we shall have our wedding. Make some plans. Who are you that you don't have any plan as far as this relationship is concerned? You have no plan. We are just moving on. We have no vision. We're just moving on. 
I just have, I know I have a title, I'm someone's fiancé or a girlfriend, but I don't know where this relationship is heading to. I don't know whether it is heading into a marriage. I don't know whether it is heading in. <laughs> Let's make some plans. <laughs> Let's make some plans, friends. <laughs> make some plans. But also Valentine's Day is a day for finding love. The single ladies, single brothers and sisters, single men. Valentine's Day is a day for finding love. In this, in this week, the Valentine's week, we are praying to St. Valentine. We are praying to God through the intercession of St. Valentine to find us worthy soulmates. Who knows? God may hear our prayer and on, on, on 14th, we can have people find loved ones. We can find people, we can get people, get their soulmates on Valentine's Day. Because these seven days we are praying. We are praying to God by the intercession of St. Valentine to find us worthy people. Trustworthy part, marriage partners, people who are interested in marriage. Not these fake liars. We want, <laughs> maybe, <laughs> maybe St. Valentine can pray for us and by the 14th, we get uh, loved ones. That should have been St. Valentine's Day. That should have been a day of, of having fun, hmm? going out to a nice restaurant, going out to... Uh, in having fun, having fun with your friend, having fun with your partner, hmm? having fun. And brothers and sisters, this is also a day of prayer. Those ones who haven't found one, the loved ones, those who haven't caught in marriage partners or, or boyfriends and girlfriends, it's a day of prayer. There are many, there are the church, different churches, parishes have organized programs on that day for singles. Please go, go to those programs. If you're single ladies and you know God has not yet blessed you with one, meet somewhere, enjoy yourselves. Don't be lonely on this day. Pray, but also have friends to be with. Don't, don't go into the corner of your bed, your house, and then you start crying. I know it's can, you can be lonely, but on this day, find something to do if you don't have a loved one. Don't be there and cry, child of God. Find something that will make you busy on this day. Thanks be to God, it's on a working day that <laughs> many of us, Lady G will be working. I start my work <laughs> towards 8, okay, let me say 8 a.m., up to late in the evening. Where will the board don't find me? Because I'm busy with my work. I'm very busy. From work, I'll be very tired. I'll be going home to have a rest. I'm talking to those who don't have loved ones. If there's no one to take you out, and if you have not received the gift, <laughs> I know it's painful. Ah. When you're there working in your office, and then you see flowers flying in, surprises coming in, you know, and for you, dear sister, you have not received any flower, you have not received any gift. Trust in God. Trust in Jesus. And this is my humble request to you all. Please, in the comment section, share with us if on this day you receive surprises of gifts, or maybe a loved one, God can surprise you. And if you pray a certain prayer, to do St. Valentine, please still comment in the section. Otherwise, I, I know God's timing is the best. God has the timing, has the, the best. So trust in the Lord, trust in the Lord, and God will hear our prayers. May St. Valentine Pray for you to find a loved one. May Saint Valentine help you. Pray for you 
to reconcile in your relationship, in your marriage. May St. Valentine pray for you to end all the problems in your relationship and your marriage. But may also St. Valentine help you, pray for you, to make a commitment, to resolve, to love, to care, and to nurture. May St. Valentine pray for marriages. And may St. Valentine pray for us to have happy marriages, happiest marriages, happy courtships. And may this day of St. Valentine, new relationships start. May this day of St. Valentine, relationships begin on this day. May this day of 14th February, commitments take place. May men commit to their women. May men commit this time. May we commit. And may this day on St. Valentine, be, eh? may this day be characterized with holiness. Never shall we go into foolishness, you know, foolish drinking and losing ourselves. Shall we say no lies on this day to our loved ones? Shall we commit not to break people's hearts and to waste people's time? Saint Valentine, pray for us. Saint Valentine, pray for us. Saint Valentine, pray for us. Mother Mary, Queen of all angels and saints, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Prayer of intercession to Saint Valentine. O Holy Saint Valentine, the patron of love, I pray to you to remove the vacuum of my life and fill it with someone worthy. Look into my heart and fill it with the faith in the Lord and his will so that I can live in the moment and not waiting for someone in vain. In the name of Jesus, Amen. Oh, Holy Mother, Saint Valentine, pray for the peace in my heart and feeling of being loved instead of being betrayed. Let the right person find me and grant me the wisdom and clarity to recognize and accept. Amen. Dear Father, my deepest desire is to meet the special one with whom I can share my life. I may not be able to understand your plan and losing faith in your will. Fill my heart with love and faith in your plan for me, Lord. Please open my heart and grant me the eye to recognize my soul meant. Eliminate the hindrances blocking my way so that I might attain the feeling of being holy, joyful, and peaceful. I surrender myself, including all of my desire, to your Son, Jesus, who has the kindest heart. My faith is in you, and I know that you will listen and answer my prayer. Amen. Divine Heart of Jesus, I put all my faith in you. Saint Valentine, pray for me. Dear Lord, thank you for sharing all the love I ever needed and protecting me by being my angel. The only missing part of my life is a trustworthy person who can be with me till my last breath. Please grant me the capacity to magnetize the right person you have chosen for me. Amen. O Divine Saint Valentine, you are the healer of many lonely souls. You have been feeling their life with more love and togetherness. Today, I surrender myself to you, to you so that you can fill the empty part of my heart. May that special person find me, dear Saint Valentine. So dear friends, those are some of the prayers. Those are some of the sweet words you can pray. <laughs> you can pray, uh, you can say, seeking the intercession of Saint Valentine to find a soulmate, to find a marriage partner. And now if you're praying for healing, because he's also a patron saint of, um, of epilepsy, of fainting. So if you have any patient who has that condition, you can ask St. Valentine to pray for you. 
if your your relationship or your marriage is having a lot of issues please invoke saint valentine may god bless you all